Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this 15 inch ANC screen from CCFL to our UB54 series LED kits. So, this kit comes with the two LED strips UB54 and then uh, wire adapters and drivers. So, the wire adapter, the original screen, let, let's take a look at the screen first. This is made by ANC. Okay. NL. 10276BC30-17 It's the same as a uh, 18C or 18 They have four lamps Two lamps on each side And this is the original inverters This is the inverter part number Okay It's called uh, 150 PW231 So as you can see this inverter It's uh, you know it's the same as this one So basically after you upgrade LED strip You disconnect the system inverter wire harness and connect to our LD uh, adapters. That's it. It's pretty easy. For this particular one, it's quite easy. I mean, you if you can see carefully on each end, oh, they have a small flat head Phillips screw. You need to remove it and then uh, you can just simply um, pull it out. Okay. So unscrew this side. Okay. Uh, set that side here. We don't need to use this screw anymore. So, and then basically you just put here, okay, a little bit, and then the wire, you need to take care of the wire first. So look at this wire. Wire is like this. Uh, you have to do it one at a time. Look at this wire, it's, I'll show you later. It's already broken because it's too hot. Uh, okay, see that? Okay, this wire. You just have to be really careful to take it out. And then, see that? So look at this wire, it's already broken. The reason, because when the fluorescent lamp gets it's on, it gets really hot on both ends. And then when the machine shut off, it gets cold. Hot and cold, hot and cold creates a problem, see? Okay, so, just see this, just pull out. This side. Then do the other side, same thing. Just repeat the same procedures. Okay. So the both sides out. If you look at this wire, it's all broken. And then it's quite simple to use. You can just basically just stick it in. You don't need to peel off this. If you want to, there's two ways to mount it. Uh, one way is peel off this and you stick it in and use a tool like something like this. You stick in do like this. I show it to you, see? Do it like this. So, but the easiest way would be you just stick it in. Okay, on both sides. Okay. And then I personally are using this kit. You call UB54220 and uh, heat sink kit, just like this. You don't need have you don't have to be a same length. The, the reason you can use in any metal. Uh, aluminum. So first you bend a little bit here. Okay. Then you stick in like this. Done. The reason I bend this is try to push the LED all the way up against the light guiding glass. Okay. So if you don't have this UB54 series uh, aluminum kit, that's okay. You can use any aluminum, same thinness. You just stick in, just push the uh, LED up against the light guiding glass. Okay, a, a couple of pieces of tape, and we're gonna test it because I have a controller board here. So I have connect to a LED drivers. This is wire adapter, because this one it's uh, you know this one have 10, 11 pin, but we are using 12 pins. So you gonna align with the the one with the wires like this. Okay. And then control board here. So let's test out. I'll connect to VGA. I have my color bar generator on. Okay. Uh, how about put it this way? Uh, it should be fine. Okay. Here's nice and bright. So it's quite easy. So all you need to do just remove this two. And then stick it in the LED strip and find a piece of metal. You don't have that this long, but the, the purpose of this is to try to push the LED against the um, 
the like and engage. Okay, thank you for watching.